Get ready for the ultimate anime battle! Beerus, the god of destruction, is taking on Saitama, the One Punch Man, and it's gonna be a fight to remember. Trust us, this fight is anything but ordinary. We're entering a world of unbeatable heroes and universe-shattering power. These characters defy all logic and break all the rules. But fear not, we've done our research to bring you the lowdown on these unstoppable forces. Saitama, don't let his unassuming presence fool you. He's the strongest guy in his universe. And he wasn't always this way either. Before becoming the superhero we know and love, Saitama was just your average, unmotivated, unemployed guy with a full head of hair. But one day, everything changed. He saw a kid being attacked by a monster and decided to step in and save the day. He vowed to become the mightiest superhero out there no matter what it took. And boy, did he deliver. Saitama has faced off against everything from aliens and cyborgs to ninjas and monsters. And he always manages to come out on top with just a single punch. In fact, he's so powerful that he's often completely bored during his fights. Beerus, the god of destruction. Not much is known about his past or how he came to be, but honestly, maybe it's better that way. Beerus is the kind of entity that you'd rather live in ignorance of, like whatever's lurking at the bottom of the ocean. He's an almost timeless being tasked with maintaining balance by destroying whatever he sees fit. Planets, galaxies, people, you name it. And he does it all with ease. As a god who's been around for millions of years, Beerus spends most of his time napping for centuries or sampling food. But here's the thing. Beerus is so stupidly powerful that he literally dreams of finding someone strong enough to give him a real fight. One thing is for sure, this guy is not to be messed with. Beerus, like most characters in Dragon Ball, can use his key to let loose a variety of blasts, lasers, and much more. But as a god of destruction, Beerus has access to the Hakai, pure destruction in energy form. Hakai can and will destroy anything it touches, planets, people, ghosts, even other gods. And now for the fight. Both Beerus and Saitama are at the height of their power. Saitama after preventing the ominous future, and Beerus at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super before he got all soft. The fight begins in Z-City, Saitama's hometown. Beerus sits on top of a comically large pile of defeated heroes when suddenly, Saitama appears. The caped baldy wastes no time throwing a punch, but to his surprise, the cat casually catches it. The impact generates a shockwave that cracks the windows in the buildings behind Beerus. Beerus snickers and flicks Saitama in the head, sending him hurtling through some buildings. Before Saitama can react, Beerus is hovering above him and chops him into the ground. To Beerus' surprise, Saitama walks out of the crater his body made in the ground without a scratch. Saitama returns the favor with a punch to the god's face that sends him flying back. But Beerus is able to stop himself and lets off a barrage of key blasts in all directions. Buildings crumble and fall as they're hit. Some just turn to dust. But Saitama swats all the blasts that come his way with ease. The two clash, creating a massive crater. But it doesn't stop there. Beerus and Saitama hit each other with a flurry of blows, escalating in height with each hit. Starting to get annoyed with how unfazed his opponent is, Beerus kicks Saitama out of Earth's atmosphere before punching him into the moon. Beerus thought he had Saitama cornered, ready to bury him in the dirt like a forgotten treasure. But oh boy was he in for a surprise. Our bald hero effortlessly sidesteps Beerus' attempt and lands a serious punch right on the god's smug face. It's like watching a mosquito swatting session, but with way more destruction. Saitama doesn't waste a second. He's determined to catch that cat and show him who's the true top dog. But alas, Beerus slips away, leaving Saitama scratching his bald head in confusion. Until suddenly, a golden yellow light engulfs him. And before he knows it, a sphere of destruction is hurtling straight at him. Now, most people would panic, but not our fearless hero. Saitama, in his infinite wisdom, tries to reverse the attack with a series of serious punches. And what happens next? Boom! The Sphere of Destruction explodes, turning the moon into a cosmic confetti party. Hey, who needs the moon anyway? It was just a giant space rock blocking the view of our beautiful night sky, right? Now things get even crazier as Beerus and Saitama engage in a fierce battle on Venus. Shockwaves ripple out into space, shattering nearby planets and asteroids like they're made of tofu. It's like watching a cosmic demolition derby, 
With Saitama and Beerus playing the roles of rampaging bulldozers. And just when Beerus thinks he can overpower our hero, he unleashes the dreaded God of Destruction's wrath. But little does he know, Saitama has a surprise in store. With the strength that can make Hercules jealous, Saitama counters Beerus' attack with a serious table flip. That's right, folks. He lifts an entire mountain from Venus' surface like it's a feather. I bet that mountain didn't see that coming. The battle between Beerus and Saitama reaches cosmic proportions, and the destruction is off the charts. Beerus, growing more frustrated by the second, decides to blow up the entire planet in a fit of rage. Now, you'd think that would be a problem for Saitama, but oh no, not for our bald hero. In fact, he embraces the nudity and gains an extra boost of strength from the thrill of facing a worthy opponent. Talk about fighting spirit! They go at it with a vengeance, trading punches and kicks that could shatter planets, asteroids, and even make distant stars go, whoa, hold my cosmic beer. It's a wild spectacle, with Beerus barely breaking a sweat while Saitama remains as cool as a cucumber. Seriously, it's like the universe's ultimate game of dodgeball, and Saitama is the MVP. Beerus starts to feel a little uneasy as he senses Saitama's power growing with each blow. He's left scratching his godly head, wondering just how far this bald wonder can go. In a last-ditch effort, Beerus activates Ultra Instinct, gracefully dodging every attack Saitama throws his way. It's like watching a celestial dance-off, but Saitama's dance moves ain't cutting it. Just when you think Saitama might turn the tide, Beerus pulls off a sneaky move and appears behind him giving him a one-way ticket straight to the sun. Ouch! But don't worry, Saitama's not one to back down. He tries to launch a counterattack, only to be met with Beerus catching his punch and flashing a sinister smile. And with a swift and mighty Hakai, Beerus erases our beloved one-punch man from existence. The winner is Beerus the Destroyer. Look, both Beerus and Saitama are strong, so strong that they both find life dull and without challenge, and choose to fill the void with tutelage and companionship. But in terms of strength, Saitama's what we call a big fish in a small pond, while Beerus is more like a whale in the ocean.